In this video, we're going to see necessary and sufficient conditions for an LTI system to be stable. We are going to see this quantitatively and we have defined qualitatively two statements about a system when it is under the influence of input and when it is not. Based on that, we defined bounded input, bounded output stability and asymptotic stability. And we usually take transfer functions where the generality of the initial conditions is lost. So we usually see bounded input, bounded output stability. And we have seen that the bounded input, bounded output stability is met when the area under the curve G of T, which is the impulse response of the system, is finite. In that case, we have come to a conclusion about the poles location and so on and so forth. And it again brings us to the fact that how is a characteristic equation or a mathematical equation. Now, when we are encountered with a mathematical equation, let's say the equation which we refer usually will be 1 plus g of s times h of s equals to 0. If we are given such a kind of equation, what are the conditions based on which we can say whether a system is stable or not? Okay, We have two conditions to be specific. One we can say necessary condition okay and the other is sufficient condition now and now let's talk about the necessary condition let us take a polynomial kind of an equation a0 s power 1 a1 s power n minus 1 plus a2 s power n minus 2 plus etc so on plus a n minus 1 times s power 1 plus a n equals to 0 if we have a equation like this okay then let us see what is the necessary condition that this equation should meet in order to give any comment about its roots present in the right half of s plane or not okay so the first thing is necessary condition let me make a conditional let me go to the algorithms what they are given okay usually we use let me take n okay I meant necessary condition met or not. Suppose if the necessary condition is met, okay, then we need to use the sufficient condition to check whether this equation has roots in the right half of a spleen or not. If they are present, the system is unstable. Whose characteristic equation is the equation given in this case? Okay. Now, if it is not, we can straightforward say that this system is not even meeting the necessary condition so this system is not stable but how do we say and what is this necessary condition okay this necessary condition says that if the coefficients of all this polynomial are of the same sign then you can say the necessity condition is met okay now if i take an example of say 2s square plus 3s plus 5 equals to 0. If you look at this equation, all these coefficients are positive. So, I can say the necessity condition is met. Okay? And still, I can't comment about whether the roots are present in the right half of S plane or not. Not yet. But, if I have a equation like this, 2 power uh, 2s square plus 3s minus 5 equals to 0. If this is the case, it is not meeting necessary condition and straightforward I can say a system with a characteristic equation like this is going to be unstable. Okay? And for sure I can say the roots of this equation will be in the right half of S plane. So, if a equation would satisfy the necessary condition, for sure we can say that equation will have at least one root in the right half of S plane. Now, if it has met the necessary condition, then we need to check the sufficient condition. Okay, I am taking a conditional box like this. Let us say sufficient condition. Is it met? No. Then for sure we can say the system is unstable. Or in some cases, we will see where it will be marginally stable. Okay, we will see them in detail when we look at sufficient conditions. If it meets this condition or criterion, then we say 
the system will be stable and this necessary condition we have seen it is basically looking at the signs of these equations <clears throat> and there is a special case where some term is missing suppose here a2 is 0 then you don't have this term in that case what will happen we'll see shortly okay before that let us see what are the sufficient conditions that are to be met here okay to investigate the special i mean sufficient condition persons named routh and hervitz okay have published their findings together not actually together at the same time okay and Hurwitz has a method where we need to form a big matrix okay usually based on these coefficients here depending on the equation the order of the matrix increases and the calculations also increase very high okay this is one method if it if this condition set by Hurwitz is satisfied which is known as Hurwitz criterion then we can say that system satisfies this condition so the system will be stable which has this characteristic equation and Routh's stability criterion is simple compared to Hurwitz's criterion but both of them if we look closer they will be same okay they are essentially saying the same thing but in a different form in Routh's stability criterion we need to form a Routh array and based on that we need to say whether a system is stable or not these two conditions and criterions we will see in the further videos based on which you can give any comment about a system's stability or not based on this equations coefficients by forming them and calculating resultant values okay we'll see these two methods in the further coming videos so now we know what is necessary condition and sufficient condition and to talk about the stability of the system for which the characteristic equation is given if you are not given a characteristic equation, if you are directly given g of s times h of s, you can write 1 plus g of s times h of s equals to 0, which will be the characteristic equation for the closed loop system formed by that g of s and h of s. Okay? Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, send me a message. Okay?